Good morning guys, it is me Chrissy Johnson and welcome back to my channel Sunshine and Serenity and we are excited because we're going to do the first garden tour of the fall season, so the first fall garden tour. So if you're ready and excited, come on, let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so let's just take a look and see what all is going on in the beautiful garden. Y'all, it is feeling more like fall every day here in Central Arkansas, and I'm super excited. Um, I am ready for fall, but we've got a lot of stuff now filling in those empty, once empty beds, and I'm super excited, you guys, that I finally have some more fullness right now in the garden, um, and it just, it makes myself happy, and I'm super excited, so let's get going. So, we have got a lot of the fall starts that I did, that I started in, um, indoors in here, so we've got cilantro, and we've got some catnip back there and some parsley and some sage so that all I repotted um, and it's going really well back here I've still got my basil going on real strong back here and then I also interplanted some cauliflower in here in this bed so that is going to be looking full and beautiful before too long I've got some tomatoes finishing up right there then down here we have some of the kohlrabi we've got white and purple in here and then in this space we're going to sow our radishes here so we're going to do several different plantings of radishes so that's going to be my root bed so to speak so um not quite time to sow those radishes yet but it will be time to get those in the ground before too long they only take about 20 days so super quick to harvest so it shouldn't take very long and i should be able to do several different plantings of those in there before our frost comes all right we've got some thyme down there again some tomato plants that are finishing up they're just looking real sickly but we've got a couple more tomatoes to go on those same thing with those. I'm waiting on the rest of those to turn before I pull those out. Um, and that's going to be my garlic bed, which I won't sow till end of October. Um, our frost usually here in Central Arkansas is the end of October, beginning of November. So I've still got some time on that. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? So that is everything that I started from seeds indoors. This was my first year ever seed starting. So I was really excited that it went so well. So this you've got, uh, these are, this is my broccoli. Um, we've got some broccoli there. And then we've got back there, we've got some choys back there. And then over in this bed, we've got some cauliflower, um, broccoli. Uh, I'm sorry, that's cauliflower too. Purple Sicily cauliflower, regular cauliflower. We've got some Swiss chards and some spinaches within this bed. So that's kind of what's going on there. And then this is my second late planting of some big slicer tomatoes. And I didn't know how well they would do being planted so late. I did get one really good size. Let me see if I can get here. I did get one really good size Cherokee purple and it's just starting to blush so you know I got one so I, I think that was uh, pretty good for my efforts I wasn't expecting to get anything and I got one so I'm pretty excited about that my new little sign y'all all right we've got a couple other tomatoes there that are finishing up these have not been planted yet these are going to be my carrot beds um, I'm waiting until after we get this last bit of rain before I get those out and then we've got some lettuces, some heading lettuces, some spinaches. Um, we've got some more cauliflower interplanted in here. Um, just kind of all the green things. Got some more basil down here. Now I will lose that whenever the frost comes, but I figure I'd just let it go and see what it does. I just started some sweet peas here. As you can see, they're starting to come up over here. I've got an okra that's finishing up. Look at that okra bloom. Isn't that beautiful? I love okra blooms. They're like one of my favorite things ever. And look at these beautiful marigolds going. It's nice to have some color in the garden when you're starting to transition into that fallness. Got some more beautiful yellow marigolds. These are all cauliflowers in this bed. 
Then we got some peppers that are finishing up. I got some some cubanelles in there. I've got some bells that are still going. Some more basil and some more basil and peppers right there. These are my sunflowers. I put bags over to keep the birds out of the seeds so I could um, keep the seeds from my sunflowers this year. And I've got mint there still, basil, strawberries that'll just overwinter for next year. These I planted collards in, um, but they didn't um, come up, so I'm going to use these pots and um, plant some mustard whenever it's time to plant those out. That's another thing I have interplanted in there. I have some collards in there too. So This is my strawberry bed with my borage. So I've got borage along the outer edge and strawberries, so those are looking really nice, the borage. My okra plant that's finishing up there, that's another cauliflower. And again, we have some more sweet peas, and I've got sweet peas here. Out in here, I've got uh, kohlrabi, as well as some rutabagas, so those are just starting to come up, so we'll see how those do. Another okra plant that's finishing up is starting to die. Then this bed is my kale bed, so I have dinosaur kale here, um, red Russian here, and then here I've got some blue uh, scotch curl kale and it looks like only one has come up so far so we'll see and then I've also got a couple of cauliflowers planted in there as well and this is I've got beets and I've got Brussels sprouts so I've got beets and Brussels sprouts in this bed and they are looking really good all right and then if we mosey over here I've still got a little bit of these flowers still hanging on here. They have just done really well this season. I brought them back. They were almost dead when I got them clearanced, and I put them out, and the bees um, and hummingbirds have loved this all spring, so it's starting to die back, so we'll see. And then in this other small pool here, we've also got some kales and some choys and some uh, spinaches all kind of planted in here. So that's our little, that's going to be kind of like my kids' garden that they can kind of tend to. And then over here, I've got some peppermint plants that I um, bought starts for because the seeds that I had started did not come up. So I planted those and I'm just going to let them spread out in this bed and hopefully have a beautiful bed of peppermint. So... Um, that's exciting. So that is kind of what's going on in the garden. I'll give you guys kind of a overview, but that's what's going on in the garden. So thanks for joining me.